Hello and welcome back to Overbooked. I'm Amanda and today we're gonna be going through all the physical books on my bookshelves that I have not read and try to figure out a way to read them. Oh, oh my god, there's a lot. Before we dive in, as a reminder, every comment on all my videos are going to contribute $5 to the Transformation Project Advocacy Network, which is, if you can't tell, I have the website up right here, a program that is advocating for the dignity and well-being of transgender South Dakotans. South Dakota is my home state. It's very red, unfortunately, very restricting on LGBTQIA individuals and obviously transgender individuals. So um, I really want to highlight this organization who that is doing great work for uh, South Dakotans who are it, still there because a lot of, I feel like a lot of people end up leaving South Dakota for its politics. It, they're not, you know, they don't feel safe there. So I'm really happy that there is an organization like this in South Dakota doing the work and helping those involved and impacted by dumb laws and legislation done by South Dakota. Um, please consider, you know, donating, checking out their website or just comment on the video and that contributes five dollars to my donation. I will be making up to a hundred dollar donation based on your guys' comments, so check it out. Okay, so we are gonna go over all the books. So I'm gonna move you around. Wow, we're moving. Oh god, I'm stuck. These are all the books. All of the books. Look at all of these books. Oh my god. What are we gonna do? How are we gonna go through these? Very fast. So we're gonna go through all of those. <sighs> Are you guys ready? This is a lot of books. I don't even know if I'm ready. Let's start. I was gonna say the first book, but you guys, I'm not gonna be counting. Whatever. Men We Read by Jasmine Ward. I've been wanting to read this book forever. I bought this from a local indie bookstore. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll say how I acquired each book. Cause I do try to be thoughtful in how I get my books. So I'll include that. And I'll include any links below in case you guys wanna check those out. So I got this from a source booksellers, which is a Black female owned bookstore in Flint, Michigan. Yeah, I mean, this is just, so I've heard so many good things about this book. I haven't gotten read, around to reading it. So I want to read it really bad. Okay, so we have American, uh, okay, how do I read this title? America's Women, 400 Years of Dolls, Drudges, Helpmates, and Heroines by Gail Collins. Don't know much about this. I don't know. It's a history of women. Great. I got this from a local bookstore in uh, my hometown of Sioux Falls, South Dakota and it's like a co-op. I think this might've been a used book, to be honest. So that's it, that's that one. Oh no, okay, I mixed this up. This is from Kama Bookstore. This one's gonna be from Source Bookstores, which is a black female owned bookstore in Detroit. Mix them up. Okay, so this is Sister in Arms by Kaya Elderson, which I'm actually really excited about because I read Flight Girls a couple of years ago, last year, and it was very white and I did not like it. So I think this should have more focus on the black women who served during World War II, which I think will be a really, really interesting um, perspective and I'm really looking forward to it. So I saw this around a lot a couple of years ago on Bookstagram and uh, Booktube because I think that's when it came out. I got this from Barnes & Noble because I got a gift card for Christmas last year or something. So Memorial by Brian Washington. I think it's about two men who are in love but then are going through a serious thing that could cause disruption to their relationship. They have to figure out how to handle that. I don't know. I'm Thinking of Ending Things by Ian Reid. I honestly don't know anything about this book. My friend Emily gave me this book but I actually I think I, I honestly I think I saw somebody talking about this book just the other day actually but I really don't know anything about this. Okay so this is <laughs> I don't know anything about this book at all. Half the Sky, Turning Oppression into Opportunity for Women Worldwide. Oh, I didn't really realize that was the title. My friend Melanie gave me this book. Um, I have not read it. She really liked it. I think she read it. Melanie, did you read this book? Tell me in the comments. This is another book I would really like to get to, um, mainly just for my own professional development and personal development, is Clean and White History and Environmental Racism in the United States by Carl A. Simmering, I think I got this from Bookshop. I don't remember why I bought this. I think I was getting some other books uh, as gifts and I was like, oh, I might as well get something for myself. But obviously I didn't ever read this, so didn't read it. As me, I don't know if any of you guys know, some of you guys might know, I'm in getting my master's degree in sustainability management. So I read Environmental Racism this year and I really liked that. 
I am, I just read a text, that was obvious. I am really hoping to get to this in 2022. Once in a Great City, a Detroit story. Uh, so there was a while where when I first moved to Detroit, I really wanted to get a lot of books about Detroit because I don't know anything about this place. <laughs> obviously because I didn't grow up here but I ended up finding this in like one of those little libraries and I just have not read it yet it's kind of a chunker but I would really like to get to it uh this is another book I got from a little library I've seen this around it's actually on my want to read list on Goodreads before I even grabbed it from the little library it's called Fly Girls How Five Daring Women Defied All Odds and Made Aviation History the only thing is, is it's written by a white man I don't know how I feel about like when male authors write about females. I don't know, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't know if that's like good for the shot, if the books are in the shot or not, I don't know. So another book I got from a free lot, look, a little library is All Is Beauty Now. Honestly, I don't really know much about this book. I really just picked it up because I thought it was a really pretty book cover. It might be terrible, <laughs> but it's really pretty. I've had this book forever and it's so dusty. It's called Anonymous. And I think I got this, when I was in the girly book club, they would like give books away every meeting because um, the girly book club gives them to the meeting host or whatever. So I think I was, I like drew, my name was drawn out of a book or, or a hat or something, whatever. That's where I got this. I've read another book by this, The Wife Between Us. And I thought that was pretty good. So I think this one will be good. I just haven't gotten to it. My brother hates me because he got me this book and I haven't read it. He honestly told me the other day, he's like, I don't even know why I get you books because you never read them. And I'm like, oh my God, that hurts. It's called She Wolves by Helen Caster. I really want to read this. I think it's going to be really interesting. I actually, I thought I was going to get to it this year. I really did. I have this book called Dirty Pretty Things. I honestly don't know. I think I got this as a gift. It's just a book of poetry. You know, honestly, when I was putting these books together in piles, I was like, maybe I'll read this just to help my Goodreads goal. Cause I mean, I'm not intrigued. I don't really love poetry. Not that there's anything against poetry. I just don't. I'm like one of those people who like when I'm reading, I'm just, I'm like trying to get through the story. I want to know what's going on. And with poetry, you really have to take your time. I feel like to really enjoy it. And I just, I'm not, I can't do that. I'm not a patient person. I just don't think that I'll enjoy this, but maybe I'll read it this year just to get a, a book done. Okay, I recently just bought this book actually. These Truths by Jill Lepore. This is a book I've actually wanted to read for a while. It's hefty. It's just kind of like a complete history of the United States. And I bought this from a library book sale. So in Petoskey, Michigan. Always check out your library book sales. I think I got this for like $5 to be honest. It was pretty good. Cold Mountain has been on my list for a bit by Charles Fraser. I got this from Full Circle Bookstore in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. I don't know. I think it's about the civil, somebody coming home from the Civil War. Not positive though. So The Removed by Brandon, Brandon Hobson. I also got this from the library bookstore in Biscassi, Michigan. I don't know much about this book, but I think it's a really cool cover. I mean, look at it. I've also seen it on Bookstagram, so that has to count for something. I have Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin, which I really, 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 really want to read. And it's actually a really short book, so maybe I'll make this one of my first reads in 2022. I got this from the comic book store in Flint, Michigan, so check it out. We have the address book, What Street Addresses Reveal About Identity, Race, Wealth, and Power, and by Deandre Mask. I've heard really good things about this book. Um, pretty bookish I think has read this book and really liked it so and I really think it's an intriguing cover as well I got this from Barnes & Noble when I had a gift card so salt fat acid heat is a cookbook I don't know if this counts I would like to cook something from here though eventually I got this from Barnes & Noble with my gift card we're just gonna group these together <laughs> I have my collection of Agatha Christie books that I stole from my mom so I have The Unexpected Guest Cards on the Table, The Body in the Library, ooh, that sounds fun, and The Mysteries, The Mysterious Affair at Styles. I would like to read these at some point. Maybe I'll make a reading vlog. I did think about this the other day. I was like, maybe, I, what if I made like a reading vlog video of me reading all four of my Arthur Christie books? That could be fun. I have The King of Confidence, A Tale of Utopian Dreamers, Frontier, front, Frontier Schemers, True Believers, False Prophets, and The Murder of an American Monarch by Miles Harvey. And I got this from Petaskey's bookstore. What's it called? 
McLean and Eakin booksellers. It was a very cute place and the bookseller definitely told me, I mean, he convinced me to buy this book. It's about like a cult that was in Michigan and this guy on the cover who seems scary. Next book was, is Love in Color, Mythical Tales from Around the World Retold, which I'm actually really, really excited about. And maybe this will be another book that I try to just do right away. It is a collection of short stories, I think about love. And you know what's really cute is my best friend Emily got me this for my bridal shower and it was really cute. So I can't wait to read this. So I keep wanting to prioritize this book and I, it keeps going to go on the, ba the back burner, which is on me. It's How to Be an Anti-Racist by Ibram X. Kennedy. So I really want to get to this book. I've said this for a couple of years now. I need to get to it. So definitely need to get there. I have The Nyx, which is just a cover that I really like for some random reason. I don't know why, but I think this, this book cover is just so cool. I don't really know what it's about, but that's that. I got this from the bookstore or the library book sale in Pataski, Michigan. Then we have Begin Again by Jane, or Begin Again, James Baldwin's America and its Urgent Lessons for Our Own by Eddie S. Gladdy Jr. And I actually got this from a Goodreads giveaway. So that is very cool. I would really like to read this. And lastly, I have Pigs in Heaven, which I've talked about a lot. My friend Emily told me to read this book and then eventually she just got me the book. So I really need to read it. Yeah. Those are all the books on my that are unread on my bookshelf, which is the majority of my books because I feel like when I'm done reading a book, I just give it away. Oh, there's so many books. How am I gonna read all these? It's gonna be impossible. It really is. Some of the things I've been thinking about on how to read all of these books next year or get through some of them. One of my thoughts is I might try to read at least one or two of these books a month, like pick one or two of them to read every month or make it like like a rule, like every four or five library books I read, I have to read one of the books I own before I check out a next book. Or another thing I'm thinking about is to not buy any more books until I get through, I don't know, what's a good number? 10 or 15 of these books, something like that. Which shouldn't be too hard. I typically don't buy books because I just go to the library which honestly makes me read the books. Like I almost have, I, I have better success checking books out from the library and actually reading them than I do buying them. So that's probably saying something. So I think maybe I'll do that is like before, like maybe a combo of all of those. But if I get any giveaway books, if I win any, I'm still gonna keep those. And I, if I see anything in a little free library, I'm taking it because I'm not gonna pass up a free book, okay? But yes, I do want to get through a lot of these books next year. I think trying to read one or two every month and doing a book banning thing will be helpful. In the comments below, let me know how many books do you have on your unread shelf or your, yeah, how many unread books do you have on your shelf? What are some books that you want to make sure you for sure read next year that's on your shelf that you've been neglecting? Um, or just what books you for sure want to get to. Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I will see you guys next time.